three or four video sessions at the most i shall be talking about something called as storage classes of variables through the use of live programs so that you get a better understanding of storage classes first thing you need to understand every variable has two things associated with it first is something called as the data type the data type indicates whether the variable is an integer float double long and so on then the second attribute or property associated with a variable happens to be something known as storage class the storage class helps us understand what is the scope of the variable what is the lifetime of the variable and where all that variable is visible all these words scope lifetime visibility will only be clear when i show you certain examples the four storage classes in c which we shall be dealing with which are associated with variables are the first storage class is known as automatic so all local variables by default are automatic variables then you have global variables then you have static local as well as global variables then you have something called as the register type variable which i shall deal at the very end so let's take a look at our first piece of code i am going to talk about the first storage class called as the automatic variable i have declared an integer variable i with the initial value 10 what i am doing is i am first trying to print the address of i in main using percentage long u because address depending on the size of the memory can be a very huge number and it's always going to be positive never negative that's why the address has been type cast as unsigned long unsigned long that means it's a very big positive number that's why i have deliberately typecasted as unsigned long if you don't do this unsigned long no problem except that certain compilers will give you a warning now what this automatic does is the automatic i has a life only between this parenthesis and this parenthesis of main outside main if you try to print i you are going to get an error now what i have done is inside a for loop i have initialized a variable called as j as 0 j less than 2 i am printing the message hello world so now if you see j j is again an auto variable local only to the for loop that means it is available only on these two lines for example if i take out this comment here okay if i take out this comment here and try to print the value of j during compilation itself you will get an error saying that j is undefined or not reachable because this j is only local to the for and the print statement that means it is associated with the for loop only it's not visible outside the for loop now what i have done is i have invoked a function called as test in test what i have done is i have declared another local variable with the auto keyword called as int i given it the initial value 100 this is done deliberately to tell you the difference between this i and this i this i is local to test that means its life or scope is visible only between these two brackets all right it exists only between these two brackets that is why when i print the address of i in test this address here is going to be completely different from the address of i in main because they are actually two different variables referring to two different memory locations they just seem to have the same name for me and you but they are completely two different variable locations now i have already told you of the scope of i the scope of i is between this and sorry between this and this the scope of i is between this flower bracket and this flower bracket the scope of j is between starting from this for loop till the end of this semicolon now what happens with this i is whenever test is called for the first time i gets created okay and whenever i come to this return statement this i is destroyed because i is only created whenever this function test is called so whenever you invoke test i is recreated every time and every time you come back from test i is destroyed same with this auto int i in main whenever main is called for the first time this is created 
when I hit this last bracket, it gets destroyed. So this is an automatic type of variable. For the automatic variable, this keyword auto is optional. That means all local variables, if you don't specify the auto or automatic keyword, by default, the auto keyword is installed or put into by the compiler. So this auto int i declaration is the same as this int i. Here I have used auto, here I have not used auto, but both of them are local variables. This is having a scope restricted to main, this i is having a scope restricted to test. Now in order to verify our belief, what we shall do is we shall take this piece of code and try to run it. Only when you run it online, then you're going to get a real feel of what is happening. So first, let's try to create this error of trying to print the value of J. So if you try to print the value of J, you will straight away notice that you will end up getting a compilation time error. Okay, here if you see, you have got an error. It says J undeclared, first use in this function. The reason being, J is declared in the for loop, its life is only within the for loop. Now if you want this error to go off, I'm going to put this particular printf in comment. Now if I click on run, it'll compile it perfectly without any issues. So now if you see here, let's go one step at a time. The address of i in main, all right? The address of i in main happens to be ending with 2536, okay? And the for loop is printing hello world twice. That's not the major thing. Now let's come to this particular function called as test. When I'm printing address of i in test, you should notice the address of i in test is totally different. Although the names of the variable are same, their addresses are different, indicating they are clearly two different variables having no relation whatsoever with each other. I hope this clarifies your understanding of automatic variables. I would request you take this program, run it, and you will have a better understanding of how the auto variable works.